Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Legends 2. Alright, so we've got the train key from Joe. Our next stop is to take control of the train, so let's go. Alright then, you get in and I'll drive. Let's go! Isn't the main gun fixed yet? It can't even hit the target! Shooting it once destroys the barrel! What kind of cannon is this supposed to be, anyway? I told you it was still under development, but oh no, you just got to fire it, don't you? You not only knocked out the gun, you disabled the main reactor as well. Anyway, it's fixed now, so let's get a move on, shall we? At this rate, it'll be nightfall before we get to the city. <sighs> Can't they take anything seriously? Hey, Clay. Your problem is you're too serious, you know? Besides, aren't you a little ashamed of yourself? I mean, a big fella like yourself getting trashed by that kid. You're getting old, man. I've had enough of this circus. I'm out of here. Hey, wait! Bola, wait! These fools can't do anything right anyway. I guess it's high time I was getting out of here, too. Hey, Diesel! You heard, Bola. You can do the rest of it yourselves. See you around. Hey, hey, wait! Hey, Claymore! Who cares? Let him go. That leaves more for us. What? What? Come on, Teasel. Stop your whining and start acting like a man. Why do I put up with that wimp? Who does he think he is, anyway, talking to me like that? Oh, this is what happens when you don't have any money. We have to scrounge for parts to build our machines. We have to ally ourselves with people like that. We'll never win like this. He's here! It's Mega Man! He's using a train, too! Here he comes. We can start moving any time. Cookie! Please do try to keep up, Teasel. I'll make you eat those words, Clyde. All right, boys! I don't want to see any slacking. Let's move out! Good on, Shaft! Full speed ahead! Alright, so it seems like two out of the three bands of pirates have joined together here. We now have a new mission, defeat the pirate train, attack the pirate train while dodging their attacks. Be careful, if your train takes too much damage, it's game over. Mission Alright, so we have something sort of similar to a few different things in the uh, original oh, Legends game. Um, this train is actually going to be a uh, pretty long and somewhat tough battle. It's really not that bad. Um, the Hyper Shell makes things a lot easier here because of its long range and um, its ability to do quite a lot of damage over a wide area. So uh, we pretty much just need to keep attacking these guys here until uh, eventually... There we go, it starts blowing up. And now we have a new objective. We can uh, take out these cannons if we want, um, but it's actually probably a better idea to just sit here and try to attack the train. Um, oh, it looks like Buster shots work. Uh, I don't know if that would take longer overall or not, but either way, I think I'm just going to pelt it with Buster shots. Um, basically, we just keep shooting this until uh, the life bar goes all the way down. If we let this thing get uh, right alongside us, that little gun there is like a laser gun that'll fire at us. So it's a good idea to take it out before that happens. And there we go, so that takes down the second phase already. I am sorry, Glide. I don't have any choice. What are you babbling about now? Wait, you're not. We won't forget you. Glide, good luck. Farewell. <laughs> See you around. Tron, do it. Releasing Glide's car. What do you think you're doing? I'll get you for this, Teasel! <laughs> Sayonara, Glide! Okay, that takes care of Mr. Glide. Now, we have to fall back and regroup. Full steam ahead, Bond! <laughs> Why don't you grab those missiles and throw them back at them? 
<laughs> All right, awesome. So now it's one on one with the bond. So now we have kind of a new uh, phase here. Basically, they're too far away. Um, if we want, I could hit them with the uh, hyper shell, but eh, that's the no fun way to do it. Uh, basically, all you have to do is just catch these guys and then throw it back. Sometimes they come in a really high arch, and those can be uh, like really difficult to catch. Um, so let's see. No, this one's not going to. There we go. Uh, basically, as long as you target and throw, it looks like it's not going to be online, but it either curves or homes in or does something and takes it back. So you can pretty much just, uh, yeah, see there's one on the high arch. You pretty much just have to avoid those because you can't really throw them back. Um, all right. Send out another one anytime here. There it goes. Now, uh, so yeah, we pretty much just need to keep this up. I could be using the hyper shell to sort of speed this up, I suppose. Uh, in fact, it might not be a bad idea. So yeah, that's another reason the hyper shell is pretty good for this battle. Alright, so yeah, at this point you can kind of see we have a new, uh, another phase here. I guess this is kind of like the fourth one. Uh, basically, their laser gun here has been repaired and it's going to keep firing at us. Uh, basically, at this point, they're invulnerable for a little while, so uh, just keep shooting until you see that you're doing damage. And then once that happens, we can start uh, unloading with the hyper shell. If you want to shoot the cannon, that'll stop its blast. Um, so you can pretty much just alternate between shooting the cannon and the body, and that'll uh, sort of take care of it. You won't get hit that way. Oh, there's a surf bot coming out. <laughs> oh well, that one got off, but if you stay right here in the corner, you really can't get hit by anything here, so it's just a matter of, I guess, if your train was low on health, it might be a good idea, but um, it doesn't really matter to me. So, yeah, now that we've uh, taken care of that uh, Bond here, as you can see, he's kind of running the train. That's kind of interesting. I'm glad he's alive after we basically tried to kill him in the last ruins, but there you go. So, yeah, we pretty much just need to keep doing this. At this point, the battle's basically won. They can't really do anything to you. And there we go. Here we go again. I'm tired of this. Ouch! to me! You little blue twerp! You haven't heard the last from us! I'll get you if it's the last thing I... Mission complete! That takes care of that! Now all we have to do is go back to the church and get the last key. Come on, Mega Man, let's go! I'm gonna head back to the Flutter, Mega Man. You can go on ahead to the gallery if you want. Okay, well, sounds like a plan. So we've thwarted the pirate's attack. Um, that's always been a pretty fun battle. I, I really do like that one. Um, it's kind of nice to see uh, the Bonds, you know, kind of pulling away from the other two groups, because they'll always be my favorite, no matter what. So, <laughs> gotta love those guys. Anyway, now that we've uh, done that with the train, we can come out to this area here, and uh, there's one treasure chest in this area that we couldn't get to before because that area was blocked off with the train. This is the spike chip. So uh, basically, we're going to use that to make some more shoes for the next ruins. It seems like Mega Man has a nice uh, closet full of shoes at this point, but <laughs> either way, we're going to make some more. And uh, these shoes, while not really being completely necessary, make the next ruins a lot less annoying. So... Uh, you probably want to make those. We also need a recharge from data here before too long, so... Um, I guess we can just do that while we're in here. Okay, so let's talk to uh, Roll here, development room, and use the spike chip. Uh, she can make the cleated shoes with it. And as you can see, it contains data on how to avoid slipping on ice. So, uh, there we go. We can make the cleated shoes, and that's going to help us out in the next ruins. Let's go ahead and get recharged with data real quick. There we go. And move on out. So yeah, pretty much the uh, next objective is to go straight to the next ruins. Um, we pretty much, we just finished, you know, the last ones, but now we're going to go ahead and move on to the final, well, I guess not technically the final one, but it is the final key. Um, since there's only four, this is the fourth one, so uh, it's definitely going to be some pretty cool stuff. As far as the ruins are concerned, I would venture to say they're probably also my favorite, um, just because of the whole atmosphere type of thing. And it really doesn't have any, like, super annoying elements to it or anything. It's actually kind of fun to go through. So, and it looks really neat, too. But, 
Either way, we're going to be able to access it by going to the gallery here. As you can see, an uh, elevator has kind of appeared, so that's kind of neat. Um, let's see, we can talk to Data again. He's literally everywhere in this place, but uh, let's go ahead and talk to the priest here. Thanks to you, the city has been saved. The last key you are looking for lies within here. Go with caution, my son. Before you go, would you like my blessing? I will need to ask for a donation. Um, you know what, let's see. Let's, if we give him a hundred... Yeah, okay, so we, we can kind of uh, get some new information here. Somebody actually mentioned that they would have liked to sort of hear what he had to say, and uh, now that I think about it, it's probably a good idea, you know, to get as much backstory as we can. So let's ask him about some things. Underneath this gallery, there's a ruin that's been sealed for many years. It's there that the key you seek lies. I have already opened the gates to the ruins for you. All right, cool. Now, the mysterious girl. For many years now, whenever a ship approaches Forbidden Island, they have been warned away by a mysterious girl. She first appeared soon after Professor Beryl's daughter disappeared there. Now, people say they have seen a woman instead of a girl. Strange, is it not? Hmm. All right, the missing people. The people who were lost on Forbidden Island have returned. They all say when they awoke, they were sitting on the outskirts of the city. Some say they were helped by a little girl, others say a woman saved them. Those who were lost in the past saw the girl, and more recent explorers saw the woman. Who knows what that means? Hmm, that's kind of interesting. What about the two goddesses? There is an old legend which says the sky goddess sleeps on Forbidden Island. The legends say that long ago the world was watched over by two goddesses. One guarded the keys on the land, the other protected the gates of the sky. One day, when the goddess of the sky came to borrow the keys from the goddess of the earth, they argued, and the sky goddess was imprisoned by the earth goddess on Forbidden Island. So the legends say. Blucher believes the keys of the legends have something to do with the Mother Lode. That, it, that is why you went to Forbidden Island. Hmm. We'll actually learn more about that relatively soon, uh, towards the end of the story, so uh, let's ask about Forbidden Island itself. Many diggers have tried and failed to explore the aptly named Forbidden Island. Several diggers from the city have also journeyed there, but none returned. Only Professor Beryl and Von Blucher have been there and back. It is said that if the Mother Lode is anywhere, it must be on that island. Of course, Blucher and Beryl didn't just land there, they crashed as well. It's said that they were rescued by a mysterious girl whose hair was in pigtails. Hmm. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much all this guy's got to say. Um, it's a pretty neat little backstory. I guess it's a good thing we went ahead and checked it out. Uh, and also killed a little bit more time before we go into the ruins here. So, uh, get out of the way, you're in the middle of the camera. So next time we are going to head into the Y-Town ruins and go in search of the fourth key. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.